Da Vinci Turtle. What is going on everybody? My name is Da Vinci Turtle. Now welcome to my top 10 CPUs of early 2016. This is going to be 5 AMD CPUs along with 5 Intel CPUs just to be fair to both sides of the spectrum. Let's kick things off with the Intel CPUs, shall we? Coming in at number 5, we have the Intel Core i7-6700K. This is the new Skylake CPU by Intel. Now you're probably wondering why is this number 5 when it should be number 1. Well, in reality, this is a new CPU. It's priced at $413.50 on Newegg.com currently. And you can get other CPUs by Intel, which are even better, in my opinion. However, this CPU is still a quad-core CPU with the latest Intel technology, and it's an amazing package, especially if you're willing to give out $400 plus. Coming in at number 4, we have the Intel Core i7-5820K. This is a 6-core CPU with 12 threads, so essentially that's a 12-core computer, which is pretty extreme if you ask me. It's $390. That's cheaper than the Core i7-6700K, and you're getting two more cores. Four more threads, you can't argue with that. Coming in at number 3, we have the Pentium G3258. This is a 20th anniversary edition Pentium by Intel. As most of you know, it's really good at overclocking, and the price point of only $65 on Newegg.com, you really can't beat it. However, it's only a 2 core CPU, and a lot of games do not allow 2 cores, such as Far Cry and GTA 5, so watch out with that, please. Coming in at number 2, we have the Core i5-4690K. This is 4 raw cores of raw performance. You can't go wrong with it, and for only costing 230 bucks, still on the high scale, it's going to give you what you paid for, and I highly recommend this CPU for those of you who want an Intel system. Coming in at number 1 on the Intel side is the Intel Core i7-4790K. This is the Devil's Canyon edition of the 4770 which had a little bit of a heating problem. So basically this is going to be an amazing performing CPU. 4 cores, 8 threads, 340 bucks. You can't complain with that. It's an amazing CPU. Number 1 for Intel early 2016 in my opinion. Now for those of you on the AMD side, here is your top 5. Coming in at number 5, we have the AMD FX 9590. This is going to cost you $240, however it will get you an 8 core CPU and it is the fastest that AMD has to offer right now. Only problem is that it gets very very hot. But you do get the extreme satisfaction of having a 5 GHz CPU and that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Coming in at number 4, we have the A10 7870K. This is going to cost you 140 bucks. however it has a quad-core CPU and an 8-core built-in GPU, so this is actually an APU, and 4 cores along with 8 GPU cores is more than enough for, you know, 1080p gaming on low settings or 720p on high settings, and it's going to be very, very good for those low-budget systems. That's why it's on number 4 on the list, however... AMD will be making new APUs in the future, so keep an eye out. Coming in at number 3, we have the Athlon X4 8600K. This is AMD's budget CPU, coming in at only $70, and that's going to give you a quad-core CPU, so you can play all the games like GTA 5, Far Cry 4, no problem, and it does overclock well. Coming in at number 2, we have the AMD FX6300. This is a 6-core CPU coming in at about $110 on Newegg.com. The 6 cores will help with gaming, rendering, in case you do YouTube videos, and other things which require more CPUs. Now the price point is something that you can't argue with, so that's why this CPU is at number 2 on the list. Coming in at number 1 on the AMD side is the AMD FX8350. This is an 8-core CPU coming in at about $180 on Newegg.com. And the 8 cores are going to be great for gaming, rendering, recording, all the good stuff that you can do with the computer. And it's going to be cheaper than most Intel CPUs. That's why I highly recommend the 8350 and also it overclocks like a boss. Well, there you have it. That's my opinion on what the best CPUs are for early 2016. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below. And if you have any questions about any CPUs in this video or any CPUs out there, please ask me in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to answer on any questions you have regarding CPUs. Also, 
tell me your top 5 CPUs for early 2016. I would love to hear your opinion. And as always, see ya!